Hey, what's up, y'all? Right now, I'm in a low place. Right now, I feel low in the spirit. Right now, I could just break down in tears. But I know my worth. I know my value. And I know who I belong to. Right now, I'm having to make choices that I never thought I would have to make in my life. Right now, I'm fighting to obey my tears because I'm tired of crying. Sometimes, you end up in situations and circumstances to teach you, to teach you the curses of your family, to teach you boundaries and burdens to show you that you are worth so much more than what you accept and what you allow yourself to go through and I myself like I find myself going through situations that I honestly didn't have to go through but I went through them because, excuse me, I went through them because um, at the time, I didn't really realize my worth. I didn't really realize my value. Um, but at the same time, you know, um, at the same time, I was trying to find myself, trying to find that thing that... I felt was missing in my world and right now I'm devastated I'm I'm just I'm down in the spirit and I refuse to cry because I spent years crying I spent years being mad and angry and upset now I'm at the point where I'm like it's time for a change it's time for something different. It's time for something new. And I'm making this video because I know that I'm not the only one that know what it feels like to battle with depression. I know that I'm not the only one that face different challenges every day getting up. Um facing life and the different circumstances and the different situations. So, I want to say to you, if you're going through something, don't hold your head down. Pick your head up. And if you're going through something, don't stand in it. Go through it. It's a lot of us and it's a lot of us going through storms. It's a lot of us going through hardship. And a lot of us feel like we're moving, but really we're standing still. And I feel like for myself, I've been standing in my storm. And I haven't been moving, but I've been feeling like I'm moving. I'm doing something to change the situation when really I'm, I don't want to say I'm entertaining the situation, but I'm feeding the situation instead of resisting the storm i'm going through it hey what's up y'all i had an incoming call so um we got a little disconnected but i'm back now i'm back now but um i was just saying that you know um honestly a lot of us feel like we're going through the storm and we're working hard and we're doing everything we can to change the situation when honestly we're not giving it all we have we're not trying real hard we're doing just enough just enough to get by just enough to um be sane just enough to uh, make it through the day and um, right now, 
I'm at a place in my life where um where I've tuned into me and um I've been giving myself quiet time where you know the TV's not on, no music's playing, it's just quiet. And I take time and I meditate. I take time and I ask myself questions, you know, about my life, um, what's going on in my world, how I'm feeling. Um, I've started back journaling and read, I mean, uh, and writing and everything. And um, sometimes, like, when I'm in a good mood, I go back and reread some of the things that I have um, written and I'd be shocked because it's like wow like um, I'm in a low place like um, I feel like I'm happy or I'm appearing to be happy but on the inside I'm hurting and it's a lot of us like that it's a lot of us that you know um, we've been wearing our masks so long that we don't really know the difference. We don't know the difference in being happy and, um, just making it, just surviving and, uh, making it through the day. So, um, I just wanted to make this video because... Um, you know, vlogging for me is my therapy. It's not for pity. It's not for attention. It's not for people to feel sorry for me or none of that. It's just, it's my therapy. And I realized that I enjoy helping people. I don't mind telling my story because I feel like my story is my testimony. It's not to... Um, give me attention. It's not to um, have pity from people, but it's just um, proof that through this, through that, I've made it. And if I can make it, surely you can too. And if God can do it for me, he can surely do it for you too. Um, right now, um, um, Right now, I'm away from home, and I had to leave my home. Well, I didn't have to leave my home. I chose to leave my home because I felt like, I just, I feel broken. I feel sad. I feel hurt because, like, I feel like when you care for somebody and when you hope that something works, and you realize that no matter how hard you work, no matter how hard you try, you know, you losing. And for me, I don't like to lose. I'm the type of person, I give it all I have. And to end up in a situation to where, you know, I'm losing, I'm not winning. Um, I feel like in my life and in my world... I've been losing a lot, like, you know, um, different circumstances in different situations. So, like, this loss is, like, enough for me. It's, like, enough. You don't choose me, cool. You don't love me, cool. You don't want me, cool. But at the same time, it's just, like, I'm a winner. And... You don't, you haven't won until you've lost. So if you haven't lost anything, you know, then you can't, you can't understand where I'm coming from. But if you've, if you've taken some losses and you've lost some things in your world and in your life, you will definitely understand where I'm coming from. And so right now I've just, I've went in my head for myself mentally Physically and spiritually. I went in my A for me. It's not because I'm running away from the situation. 
running away from the circumstance, running away from choices I made. No, because I know my strength. I know my worth. I know what I'm capable of. I know that I'm a goddess. <laughs> I know that I, I can go hard. I know that, you know, so um, it's not about none, none of that. It's just sometimes you get tired of proving yourself. You get you get tired of like proving that you care, proving that you love, proving that you'll be here, proving that you're loyal. And you know, you be loyal and be holding down the wrong people. And that's me, like I've I've been loyal and you know, I've been holding down and backing up the wrong people. And I'm learning every day, like, tune into you. Trust you, love you, embrace you, pour into you, focus on you. Focusing on you don't make you selfish. It don't make you um, any less of a person or, you know, it don't make you wrong because you're loving you. Love you. You know, so that's just how I've been feeling, like. Mm-mm, no more. You don't choose me, cool. Um, and I mean, I found myself where, you know, I was honestly about to, like, bawl my eyes out, y'all. Like, I was about to bawl my eyes out, and it was like, no. I'm tired of crying. I, I am, I am tired of crying. I am tired of being sad. I am tired of being depressed. I am tired of being at the bottom, I'm tired of feeling low. I'm tired of just enough is enough. Enough is enough, you know. And right now I'm at the stage like, cool, fine. I can do bad by myself. I can love me. You don't love me. I can love me. You know. You rather have that. You rather entertain that. Cool. Best wishes. You know. I don't speak no harm. I don't speak. I don't even have no bad words to say. I mean, I've honestly, you know, thought about the situation. And I don't have nothing bad to say. I don't I don't have no bad words. I mean, I feel like the experience was necessary. You know, did it hurt? Did it sting? Oh, yes. But at the same time, I feel like it was necessary. It was, you know, to teach me, to show me. You're strong even when you feel like you're not, you know, you're capable and you can do anything that you put your mind to. And, you know, um, I've also learned that I'm a loving person. You know, I would get a shirt off my back, but at the same time, you got to be cautious. Because people today will, you know, um, cling to you because you have a loving spirit will cling to you and suck the life out of you and make you miserable or try to drive you crazy because they don't want to see you happy. And the sad thing about it is sometimes it's the people right in your face. That's what we need to realize. Some of the people that some of the people that um that we feel like love us can't stand us. You know, that's why they have that saying, you know, um, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer, you know, because I didn't get it then. It's like, why would you want to keep your enemies closer? But if they, if they deceiving you, if they out to get you and you keeping them closer, then you know, if you paying attention, if you focusing, if you, you know, watching your circle, that's why it's good to not keep too much company. Because if you have a small circle, and somebody stabbing you in the back, somebody crossing you wrong, it won't be too hard to weed out who crossing you wrong and who doing you wrong. But in this day and time, it's so many deceiving people. It's so many people deceiving within the family, outside the family, co-workers, so-called friends, baby daddies, boyfriends, sisters, cousins, aunties, uncles, best friends. Ex best friend, you know, it's so many classmates, it's so many people that are, you know, deceiving people. 
And the crazy thing about it is, it's the people that you least expect. That's what's throwing people for the loop. Like, deceiving spirits are real. You know, people, this ain't just start happening. This just stuff that has been swept under the carpet. And now stuff is coming forward and being revealed. And now a lot of us are looking like, wow, oh my God, wow, oh my God. This ain't nothing new. It's just being brought forward. You know, women getting killed by their husbands and boyfriends. This ain't nothing new. It's just been swept under the carpet. You know, people put it on the background, don't want to talk about it, ashamed and embarrassed. But now things are being brought forward with, you know, social media and um, people writing stories, people speaking up, folks getting bold. And like I said, um, it's a lot of people that, you know, are saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. No more. No more. No more. And, you know, the thing about that is we have to be careful because if we're not careful, we can easily be deceived and we can easily pick up that spirit and then we'll become bitter and angry and, you know, we'll be out here deceiving people and hurting people and doing so. You have to be very cautious of the company you keep. You have to be careful with the people that you allow, um, to speak to your spirit because it's some people that will you know try to pass their demons out to you and allow their their spirits and their demons to latch on to you because you know um they see your strength they see your light they see that you know um you're trying to go up and you're trying to be the best you and they don't want that to happen so, um, if you don't take nothing else from this, this video, if you don't take nothing else from this clip, I want you to know that you are worth it. I want you to know that sometimes you have to get in the ring with yourself. You have to get in the ring with yourself and you got to fight for you. Put them gloves on, strap up, do whatever you have to do, but go to bats for you. Act up for you. Go hard for you. You done did it for everybody else. You done put up for everybody else. You done sacrificed for everybody else. Now it's time for you to sacrifice for you. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going hard for me. You don't choose me cool. You don't love me cool. You don't want me cool. You don't think about me cool. I'm not your number one cool. That's fine. That's, it's all good. You know, and I don't feel bad. You know. But at the same time, I realized, you know, I still got to go through it. You know, I still got to go through it. And that's the same thing for you. No matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, don't stand in it. Don't stand in that rain. Mm -mm. Go through it. Go through this storm. So, therefore, you won't be, you know, depressed and sad and down and feeling like your world has come to an end and feeling all suicidal and and just down in the spirit when you deserve to have your joy. You deserve to be the best you. You know, so love you. Embrace you. Don't give up on you. Get in that ring and go hard for you. Because you are worth it indeed. And if don't nobody else understand your story, you understand. God understand. That's enough. Because people won't always understand why you move the way you move. Folks will judge you. Even the ones that say they don't judge you. They don't hold nothing over your head. They don't hold nothing against you. We all know. People can be so judgmental. So don't worry about them. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. Because as long as you're in the ring with you. And you're going hard with you. You're going to be alright. Know that, okay? Know that. So, um, I want to keep y'all, but, um, I realize this, this video is getting a little long and I've been working on trying to have videos not too long, but, um, feel free to comment down below. Um, feel free to like, share, you know, if you have a friend that's battling with depression, if you have a sister that's battling with depression, um, if you have somebody or you know somebody or if it's you that's going through, I want to say to you, know that you're not alone. 
and know that you are worth it and you are enough. Right where you're at, you're enough. You might not understand the full story. You might not understand why, but just know that it's not over. It's not over. That joy is still yours. You know, you are a winner. I am a winner. You know, so hold your head up. Go through that song and know that better days, better days are here. They not coming, but they here. Better days are here. So, you know, um, as you find yourself going through, celebrate, celebrate. That's what I'm learning to do. I'm learning to celebrate. I'm learning to celebrate. That's what I'm learning to do. I'm learning to celebrate. I might not be where I want to be. But I'm learning to celebrate with just me. I'm learning to celebrate. Tears in my eyes. I'm learning to celebrate. I'm learning to get in that mirror. Hey, hey, we got this. Hey, we can do this. Hey, we go hard. I am my cheerleader. I, I cheerlead me all the way. And you know what? I won't give up on me. You won't give up on you. So get in that mirror. Love you. Embrace you. Go hard for you. And don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give in. Put a smile on that face and get in that ring and go hard for you. Because you are worth it. Okay?